the way that they told me about it was just upsetting. I just felt like I was actually getting fired. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex. I am currently sitting in a car because I was recording my podcast. I wanted to just, I don't know, stay in here to film this video. So before I get into today's video, uh, make sure you're subscribed to turn the bell on for notifications for when I post a new video. Today's video um, might be a little controversial. I wanted to discuss my experience from the Disney College program because I just came home from it. Not just recently, but uh, like a month or two ago, I just came home. So I thought it would be a good time to just break down everything that happened and like give you guys a good insight of like what it's like in the program, but also talk about like why I specifically quit the program early because I was supposed to come home in January, but I quit back in November. There's a lot to discuss. The reason why I need to like keep some information uh, private because I don't want one Disney finding out that I'm talking about it to uh, because it's not necessary. And I don't think everyone needs to know the full details. Um, but there's that. The way I'll talk about it is I'm going to break it down from the beginning of my program to the end, obviously, but I'll also talk about like some of the pros and cons because I think for anyone that's out there who's interested in doing the program, I think it's good for you to know like what you should look out for, maybe what you should avoid uh, coming into the program because it's not exactly how it's advertised and that's why I'm here. To start things off, I applied for the program back in, I'm trying to remember exactly, I think it was like late April, early May, because I had gotten into the pro, I got accepted um, right before, like during my finals, like right before finals week uh, in college. So I remember that briefly. When you apply for the program, you have to do like this whole process, like you have to submit an application, send in a resume, um sending your school's information so that they know that like you're in school or whatnot because you can only do it uh the youngest you can apply is at 18 years old um and there were a couple people in the program that i was with that were uh 18. you have to do two interviews there's a online interview where you do like a whole questionnaire being like a positive negative thing phone interview which you talk to one of the representatives and they ask you questions about like work experience and then uh your interest of doing the program and like what uh, specific role you were uh, looking forward to wanting to do. My interview was interesting because they had offered me specific roles that I was actually interested in doing. I had an interest of doing attractions because I've always wanted to see what working at the ride would be like and children's activities because they do this thing called the kid cut in Epcot where you like get to like draw and stuff and like I don't know make kids happy or whatnot. So fast forward, I selected my dates for the program for late July, I think the 23rd, I was my like start date. And then uh, January 11th, because I was making my return for Ithaca, um, like the following week. Sadly, I had to take off a semester. So I was unable to go back to Ithaca for my fall semester. That sucked. But the good thing is I am going back. Yay. So I'm happy to see all my friends and continue my education. I found out that I got attractions. So I was surprised yet again, because I was like, wait, I got into the program so fast. I also, let me just tell you, I got accepted into the program like two days after I had did my phone interview and they were like, you're supposed to find out within a week. And I was like, okay, then I got accepted. I was like, what the heck? I got attractions for Pandora in Animal Kingdom. So if any of you people are not familiar with Animal Kingdom because it's been updated, the avatar section is based off the movie like the blue people so there's two rides and merchandise and food so i got specifically the knobby river journey which is comparative to any other ride is basically like splash mountain and small world pirates it's just a slow moving boat ride going into the program i was not knowing what to expect like apartment wise for the dorming because they actually provide housing for the program which is nice so if you're interested in the program they do offer housing there's three type of rooms that you can choose from you can choose from a two by two four by two and a four by four i chose two by two because it was the least expensive um and i'll talk about the shit. 
that went on in there. I got to the program, did the whole check-in process, which took a very long time to do. Only, I would say like about an hour or so, it'll, it like roughly took. Previously made some friends go before the program because there's a lot of group chats and stuff. So if you are watching this and you wanna do the uh, program, join Facebook groups because you'll meet a lot of, uh, a lot of fun people um, who might become your friends, you never know but also just to see if you want to be roommates with specific people because you can request specific specific people for roommates i didn't do that because i couldn't find anyone that would be compatible so i just was like traditional find a random person and that's who i'm gonna be with i was not expecting to have a messy person for a roommate and it was the worst thing i've ever experienced i feel like that should be a separate video but i can just briefly talk about it i had a roommate his name was and he was so i i don't even know how to describe him he was messy rude loud annoying and just invasive like probably one of the worst people i ever had a dorm with i had to deal with him for three months until we were able to kick him out because i couldn't stand him anymore i don't like to send negative like thoughts to people and stuff like that because i don't want to be rude but like i hope you're doing well but you were a terrible roommate <laughs> so yeah so when you get your uh assignment for whatever your role you're doing in the program you get a whole training schedule and then you get like a whole tour thing and you have to pick up your costume so it's a lot for the first week um but also the, the good thing about the first week is that you get to you know explore the campus area i call it the campus because that's basically what it was a nice shopping area there's transportation that's provided for the program so if you have a car you can drive to work but they also provide a bus system which is pretty nice i will say it was very confusing getting to know the bus routes after like a week or two you get used to it working as a cast member you do get a lot of nice accommodies uh you get discounts off of food and merchandise which is nice and i don't know if anything else but a lot of the stores not just in disney will do the discounts so if you ever are like on disney property don't hesitate to ask because some places will do the discounts that you never would have expected kind of going into why my experience was bad so that's kind of like the main focus of the video is because of how i was treated specifically when i worked at the navi river journey i was with a lot of more adults than i was with cps like college programmers people around my age i was not around with so it was kind of hard adjusting to that environment because there was a lot of you know older people um, that range from like late 20s, 30s, and 40s, and I think some 50s or 60s. I, I, there was like one or two people who were like that old. My main issue with Navi was just I was dis I felt like I was being disrespected by a lot of the people there because of how not just because of how young I was, but I think of just who I was as a person. And to me, it kind of reminded me of just like middle school and high school. I was like, why am I in the same environment where I'm being like picked on, you know? Training to do attractions was very difficult. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to like prepare for. Uh, there was a lot of reading and stuff. A lot of, it was, because it's uh, what they call safety critical, it's a lot of safety. So you're, you're in the hands of the people, like you have to make sure their safety is priority. Um, which I did my best at but it was just a lot of like some of the like the protocol stuff was just really hard to memorize like evacuations and stuff so I was like worried that that would be my flaw of working at Pandora good thing about working there I will say was some of the positions uh that I got to do so I like I liked doing the front where I'm like the lightning lane specifically grouper which is where if you if anyone's watching has been to disney it's like when the cast members tell you like to go to specific rows like on a ride so like say splash mountain like there's like five rows it's like okay how many in your party okay go to this row like i just liked doing the whole process of like splitting people into groups and just going over there it was really nice other thing i liked about working at attractions was the guest experience and like the social interaction that i got because i like talking to people so there was a lot of times that i was able to talk to the guests you know make them laugh get a nice little conversation here and there um other times when i was just not in the mood i would just be like good morning please get into the goddamn ride <laughs> i did make a lot of friends at navi uh that i was surprised to make I did make a lot of enemies and not in the way like oh i got a lot of people hating me i just like did not like a lot of the people there because i had a feeling they did not like me or just like didn't enjoy working with me which totally understand i mean disney was like the first time i ever had a, like a full like full-time job because 
you don't realize like Disney is a full-time job. So it's very tiring. The job is very stressful, but it does look good on a resume. That is one of the key things about working the program. Like if you want to work just for experience or just for um, a resume, then I'd say go for it. Not a huge Disney person, but like was like interested in working at Disney. I would say maybe check out their internships and not the program because the program is basically the whole job. You know, the downfall of Navi came down to was how I was kept getting in trouble. I'm a clumsy person sometimes, like I fumble a bit. So I got in trouble at least two times and had to get, you know, talk to the boss and whatnot. And apparently this is where the bullshit comes into play. They forcefully transferred me to the food and beverage uh, area because I was doing something wrong or like I was caught like not doing something safe wise. I don't know. I'm not going into full detail, but it was something that was not true because there was not any evidence that they provided. So I knew right in there and then that they were trying to get rid of me uh, from the moment I got there. So that's what really upset me. And to make matters worse, I was going to quit the program and this was like in September. And what was so annoying was the way that they told me about it was just upsetting. I just felt like I was actually getting fired. But they're like, no, um, you're just just moving into another location. And thankfully, they didn't uh, term me, which is enough, just a short word for termination, terminated. It's basically their way of saying of like you're getting fired or you're quitting. If you term, that's you quitting. If you get termed, that's you getting fired. I think it's a smarter way to do it. So it doesn't sound so like rough. So when they transferred me, I was sent to the Africa food and, food and beverage. So I was doing a lot of the food stands. What sucked was right when I was starting my training, I was experiencing a lot of back pain and I wasn't sure why. Fast forward to like the fourth day of my training, I went to the emergency room because I couldn't sleep. And I find out that I have a kidney stone. It shocked me because I have never had one before. I didn't know what was going on. So I had to miss so many days of work because I was in and out of the hospital getting treated. And it turns out I had an eight millimeter kidney stone <laughs> in my kidney. I had to get that treated and it was the worst pain I've ever experienced. And thankfully, after it was over with, which took about three and a half weeks to get rid of, which was horrendous, um, I go back to work perfectly fine, and then I find out I have mono. And that was annoying because I had to spend Halloween sick. Specifically, Africa was better. It was a better environment because there were more... Uh, cps there so i was able to make way more way more friends than i had at navi uh it was a much easier job to like handle because it wasn't like difficult at all like it was just like prepping food i got to learn how to use a cash register which was fun i got to learn how to make the dole whip which is cool the only thing was there was a lot to remember kind of like with like navi but it's also like food safety so um a lot of labels and all that type of stuff. I would always ask questions, but I was like, am I supposed to like mark this or like, you know? And I got more recognition from that job than I did at Navi. Like I was getting a lot more appreciation, which was making me happier. Decided to stay a little bit longer. And then after getting the mono and the kidney stone, I was kind of just losing interest of working at Disney. Like I just wanted to go home. I was like really tired of it. I also wanted to go home for the holidays. Because I did not want to spend my time for thanksgiving or christmas at disney by myself because i'm like this is a family holiday i'm not spending it by myself like no i called up my parents they had actually visited me uh in september so that was nice and they were gonna come for my dad and my sister's birthday in november so i called them up and i was like hey since you guys are coming down can i just come home with you guys because i don't want to be here anymore they agreed i Started my packing process of moving out. I was able to give away my shifts uh, for the week that I was leaving. And I just texted my managers and I was like, I'm leaving. Bye. Like, I, I was literally just like, I, I'm quitting. Bye. And they're like, okay, no question about it. Returned to my costumes, gave my key back to Flamingo, which is the campus dorm area that you live if you do the program. And flew back home and spent Thanksgiving, Christmas home, which was nice. Overall, I would say 
I had a bit of like a good and bad experience, but more so bad experience with Disney because did this ruin the chances of me wanting to work for the company again? Yes. I don't think I'm going to want to work in a park ever again because of just how I was mistreated. Awful like treatment that I was receiving was just not acceptable. Um, but does that limit the chances of me wanting to work for something specific for the company? I don't think so because I was told they have graphic design internships and I might look into that, but not until I graduate college because school is more important. That's what any parent would say or teacher like school comes first other stuff next you know but i don't want to make this video to discourage people from not wanting to do the program but i just wanted to make this video to like highlight exactly what you might expect and like how the program might turn out for some people because it is not uncommon for a lot of people to quit early because a lot of my friends did term in the program specifically my close friend jordan love you uh, she did the program twice and both times quit and it was like, girl, come on. People will come and go in the program, so it's not anything bad. It's just sometimes people miss home. They don't like their roommate. They don't like the job. They don't like the experience. It could be a variety of anything. For me, I just wanted to go home, but also I was like not physically well. I think that's it for the most part. I don't think there's anything else to really talk about i mean i might make another video talking about my roommate experience but i would say if you are interested in working for disney for any sort of reason go for it you know you never know you might like it because a lot of people who did the program stayed for the company so that's cool but other people will quit so if you're looking for intern experience, something for spot on your resume, I wouldn't really say go for Disney. I have heard that it does look good on the resume, so go for it if you want. But I liked the experience for learning how to use a cash register, customer service experience, having to deal with, you know, customers like, well, guests, uh, positive and negative. So I would know how to deal with, you know, an unhappy customer so i learned a lot of great things made a lot of new friends learned a lot about the company which was really cool i learned got to learn a lot of new facts i got to do a backstage tour backstage tour of the twilight zone tower of terror which was really fun but other than that i think that's really it so if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up um if you are have any other questions about the program definitely comment them below because i can answer them to the best of my potential um but other than that yeah i think that's gonna be it so make sure to subscribe turn the bell on for notifications for when i post a new video and i'll see you guys in a, another video um yeah that's about it <laughs> um bye